Hello everybody, this is Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead. Here today we're in a collaboration with Rain Country on ways to save money on the homestead. Now some of our ways may be impractical for other people. Yes. You know, they may not be able to willing to go the route that we go, but Wanda and I are extremely frugal people. You would almost call us a miser. In some ways. <laughs> in now, some ways. He can spend money in other ways, but yeah. for the most part, we, we save money. Now, he doesn't skimp on value. No, or quality. Quality, I guess, may be the, the what yeah. I, word I'm looking for. But one thing we do uh, deals with personal hygiene and household products and things like that. Um, I just got my hair cut cost me 10 bucks okay that's the first time in nearly two years two years that we've had any kind of hair um, done most people will and I don't dye my hair I don't use any special things I don't have curling irons and all this I have a cheap hair dryer that's at least six seven years old um, so I don't do the curling irons and the curlers and the straighteners and the mousse and the gels and all that I have shampoo no conditioner and that's it and I don't use the conditioner very often and I get a haircut every couple of years and that saves money because if if I was like everybody else and I went and got a haircut at least every six to eight weeks yeah plus the dyeing the hair to keep the gray out you know and um what else? The perms. The perms. Uh, this stuff adds up. That stuff adds up. Even me. I haven't had yeah. a haircut now in... Probably two years. Probably two <laughs> years. Yeah. Um, I don't buy... Uh, I don't color my hair. Mm -mm. I don't buy the stuff going your beards. Uh, the aftershaves. The aftershaves. I don't wear aftershaves. I don't buy shaving cream. I'm a dry shaver. I have been since I was small. Since I was was young uh, and I know that's most people are like oh my god I don't know how in the world but that's just who I am uh, you know that's one of my things uh, and yeah. one of the other things is colognes yeah and and perfumes. perfumes we do not use them now Danny has a high sensitivity to things and I can't wear just anything so right we tend to stay away from those as much as possible we don't even, I don't even know if there's any in the house. If it is, not, it's well, really it, old. We um, had some we bought that was cheap to put in the field to keep the beer out. Oh, yeah. That's, we, we had yeah, some cheap perfume, perfume. From, the, from the dollar store, yeah. <laughs> that's that's it. Yeah, we don't go buy all the fancy bath powders. No. Uh, the good, you know, what is that, what do they call that stuff? White diamonds and stuff like that. We don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. And the um, soaps we have, lots of people have sent me soap. And um, Danny's previous wife, Debbie, before she passed away, made soap. When I came here, there was probably 50 bars of soap oh, in the house. There's enough soap to last for years. And we've been married four and a half years. And between the soap Debbie made and the soap people are sending me, I still probably have 20, 25 bars of soap. So there's no point in me buying soap. No. And there's no point in me making soap until all this is gone. So that's and, and, the way well, we save on And hygiene. two, in, in the hygiene thing, we don't buy the underarm deodorants. Now, yeah. um, I just use baking soda. And I don't have to use it very often because once you eat clean yeah, and you eat healthy and don't eat out, we do not do those kind of things. Uh, your body doesn't give off all these horrible odors. Yeah, so, a lot of those come from chemicals. A lot of those come from chemicals inside stuff. Because we raise what we eat here on our homestead, we don't have to have all these heavy underarm deodorants. Uh, the second thing, uh, we raise what we eat and we eat what we raise. Yes. A lot of people will garden or they'll have animals, but they're again, they don't eat what they, they raise. Don't eat what we they are raise. so shocked at the channels that show you how to grow this, 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 and this, and they don't eat it. And they don't eat it. They sit back and talk and about, oh, it's in the field, or they let it go bad, or the animals got in and eat it, or this happened. This or, is our food. Or we it, didn't harvest it in time. Yeah. You know, it's our livelihood. This is what we eat. We raise yeah. what we eat. Uh, we don't plant beets anymore. The first year I was out here, Danny planted beets. I still have beets in the cellar. Right. I don't like them. He eats them like once sporadically, 
So we don't raise beets because no. we don't eat them. We grow what we eat. And our animals are for food yes. or for breeding purposes for more food. For more food, and yes. And they're not cute little animals that we baby and feed and they cost us a fortune because we feed them all the time. When it gets 14 weeks on my rabbits, on my baby rabbits, they're ready to be um, they go to free butchered the champ. because there's no point in me feeding them till they're 20, no. 30 weeks old. No. They're not getting any bigger after 14, 15 weeks that they're about the size they're going to get. They're a good eating size and still tender. Yeah. So we raise what we eat. We bear, very seldom go to the grocery store. We very seldom go. And if we do... Um, uh, it's sugar. It, it, it's things that salt. we just literally cannot create here on our homestead. Mm -hmm. Like she said, sugar, salt, uh, maybe... Uh, uh, Oils, baking powder, uh, coconut oil, you know, something like that that yeah. we just cannot reproduce here on the homestead. And we buy in bulk when we can. Yes. Now, almond flour is very expensive. Yes. So we buy it online in bulk from a reputable company and it saves us half price Yes. by buying it. And we don't have to do it but once every six months. So here in the south we can't keep flowers and stuff very long no so it, this has to stay in the freezer so one time purchase every six months that's the way we have to do it that's the way we do it and going to the grocery store once a month when it comes to clothes now that's a biggie with a lot of people but now with wanda and i it's not such a biggie because first of all we don't go anywhere fancy <laughs> <laughs> we don't go out to eat we don't. Uh, we don't dress. We don't up go to way. public jobs. Yeah. Stuff like this, so we don't dress up. What you see me wearing right here, and what you see her wearing right now, and a pair of blue jeans. That's about it. Now, now we do have some some we fancy have some, clothes. We have some dress clothes, but they we very seldom but ever. Mine is probably at least more than six to seven years old. Yeah. Danny's is at least seven to ten years seven old. seven to ten years old because i don't throw a pair of pants away or overalls away until they're just literally wore slam yeah. out when we do shop most of my blue jeans that i've bought in the last four years have come from secondhand stores i catch yeah. them on sale lots of times at 75 to 90 percent off and i pay anywhere from a dollar to five dollars for a pair of blue jeans and i'll usually buy whatever they have in my size if it's one pair or six pair yeah. I buy them, but that's the only time I've bought blue jeans in four years. Um, shirts and stuff, I'll buy a t-shirt occasionally, and that's a splurge for me. But Danny's t-shirts come from Walmart. They come from Walmart. It's like a five pack for I don't know yeah. what is it's like six bucks yeah. or twelve bucks or something and like that. His socks and underwear is the same thing. So, socks and underwear same way. Cheapest thing. Blue jeans are the cheap. $10, $12 Ten, ten dollar pair of blue jeans. Blue jeans from Walmart. Yeah. He has his overalls. That's the only thing we do splurge on, and we buy maybe one pair a year. They're for wearing in the winter months when yeah. it's cold. And so he keeps those year to year. So he has about four pair of overalls right now that yeah. will fit him. But we buy one pair a year, and he wears them during the winter. Yeah. And I don't go to Victoria's Secret and stuff for my undies. Those come from Walmart too. And I was blessed with somebody sending me some recently, so that even saves, guys. And, and two, our, uh, our our shoes. We're not big shoe people. No. We don't no. fill our closets. If you go in there and look, our closet's not full of shoes. Oh, uh, well, I have more shoes than She has does, more than I but do. But I don't wear them. So I'm trying to let go of those yeah, shoes. Yeah, she's, she's got maybe, I mean, we're not talking about a lot of pairs. About of, 10 or 12. About 10 pairs of shoes. Yeah. I got about what, two, maybe well, three? Well, you've got three or four, but some of them you don't wear. You haven't yeah. worn since I've been here. So yeah. he's got some dress shoes, I've two, got, maybe three pair of dress shoes that he had before, when I came. Yeah. He doesn't even I've wear I've never wore them. You know? So that's where we go on clothes. We save a lot, a lot of buying money. clothes. Where I mean, our thing was we got to thinking if we went to a public job, you know, we'd have to buy clothes to work on a public job with. Yeah. So that's another way we because we live here on our homestead and we survive on our homestead. We don't have to have. We that. don't have to have that. Okay, guys. Next, 
We unplug everything in our house. We dad gum near live off grid, if you want to know the truth about it. At times. Uh, at times, mm -hmm. because we, well, first off, we don't have any central heating. No. Our house is heated with a wood heater. Um, and I am, look, I'm the world's worst at this. When we go to leave out of this house to go to town, everything in this house gets unplugged, except the refrigerator and, freezer. and freezers. Any kind of uh, computers or cell phone chargers, TVs, I don't want any of that stuff turned on because they do what's called a phantom draw. I went through the house with a thing checking and I realized how much electricity was lost through phantom draws. So we leave everything in the house must be unplugged at Whenever all we're times. Not using it, when we're not using it. it, yeah. And I save by using a toaster oven. I don't use the big oven very often. I like to use a toaster oven, so it's just Danny and I. I don't use big cookie sheets except for making cookies, and I do use a big one. And I can put those in smaller she could, pans yeah. at times and use a smaller oven. So for the most part, I use a toaster oven, which saves. We do not have a dishwasher, so nope. I hand wash dishes. Okay, our house is equipped with two hot water heaters. Uh, our house has a living facility on one end, has a living facility on the other end. There's a hot water heater on this end of the house. There's a hot water heater on that end of the house. When it's just one to nine, the hot water heater on the other end of the house never gets turned on. Just ask somebody who's been here and had to spend the <laughs> night and we forgot to turn it on. You know? It's cold taking a it's shower. It's cold taking a shower. <laughs> uh, but we got that aspect. We leave our windows open. Yeah until it literally gets so hot that we just can't take it anymore. And in the fall, we've already got the doors and windows open. Yes. So when we can, we do not run the air conditioner except midsummer. We do turn it on if it's too hot fall and spring, but very seldom. Very seldom is it ever on. Um, so that's another way we save money. Okay, I guess the last thing we want to mention here is that uh, we one to nine, mostly everything we have is paid for. We busted our butt, or I did, years ago, um, and just worked seven days a week, 16 hours a day, paid everything off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when we got something paid for, we didn't just go run buy something else. So our home's paid for, our land's paid for, our vehicles is paid for, and when our vehicles is paid for, that means we don't have to pay for the high insurances. Mm -hmm. We uh, we drop back to just having the plain liabilities on that. You know, we keep a uh, we keep our burial policies and stuff like that up. Our, our insurances that we have to have everything down to a very minimum. Now we have recently went and purchased a new tractor, which is something that we had to have at Deep South Homestead at our age if we we're going to keep on going. This is a new debt for us. This is a matter of fact. This is the first debt. Since that, we've been married. Since Wanda and I have been married for four years, it's our first note yeah. together. And, and we and, have insurance on that. So, yeah. so it added a few things. But even with our vehicles, we don't go places, so the gas bill is a yeah. minimum. We, we um, spend about 40, 40 maybe. Yeah, our gas bill, okay, our gas bill is about $40, 40 a month in a big quad cab. Yeah. Four-wheel drive truck. And know? that's going back and forth to town just to um, do our Etsy, go to the post office, and buy our groceries when we have to go. We don't go to movies. We don't go out to eat. Um, we don't go riding around on the weekends, stuff like that. You know, we don't just, we don't take trips. The we, only time we really go anywhere, like for my birthday, we went out. Uh, something happens with the family, yeah. we go to that. That's sporadic throughout the year. It keeps our costs down. Yeah, so... And so we manage our money pretty wisely. And when money comes in, we don't just spend it. We no. save it. And if there's a project we won't want done, that's where it goes. And we found by saving this money instead of just blowing it, um, we've been able to do quite a bit in the last little while. And we've had a lot of people say, how can you do this yeah. if you're not making any money? Well, it doesn't matter that we're not making that much money right now. Right. It's that we've saved throughout the year. Yeah. And when something needs done, we have it to do with. Yeah. And that's kind of the, the mentality behind what we do is learn not to spend your money just because you have it. Yes. And you think? I think that's that's a good analysis of how, how we live. I mean, we're very frugal when it comes to finances. We don't just run out mm -hmm. and purchase something when we need it. 
we sit back and put our money back. We have what we call emergency funds. And we have a designated uh, amount that we have set aside for different projects. And when we get ready to purchase something, we take that money and go purchase it once we have enough. Now with the tractor, you know, we saved up the down payment. Now it took several years to do that, but yeah. we did it. And it's all about delayed gratification. Yes. Once a person learns in their life that you need to have delayed gratification, then at that point you can begin to move forward in life and you can live a comfortable life. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of the insights into how we save money on the homestead here at Deep South Homestead. And this is in collaboration with Rain Country Homestead. If you check out Heidi at Rain Country. And we'll talk to you later. Talk to you later, friends. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.